I heard you were talking about taking online classes. Have you applied yet? No, I made that up. Really? I'm not going to college. Why did you say you were? Well, there's this girl. I think she's beautiful. When I first met her, I turned red. She asked me about college. I panicked and said I was taking online classes. Taking online classes on my own computer at home. Is that something you really want to do? I don't know. I like computers a lot. I just don't want to attend a bunch of classes every day. If I could take some online, I would go. That's one option. Colleges do offer classes online. However, going to a campus gives you a chance to meet others who are like you. They might even have a computer club. You seem to do very well on tests. Have you thought about taking a college entrance exam? No. What's that? Most colleges will require test scores from a standardized test, either the ACT or SAT college entrance exam. Students usually take the test in the summer after their junior year or during their senior year of high school. The scores serve as a predictor of how well you will do in college. The test covers math, science, reading, and vocabulary. Depending on which high school you attend, it may be more common to take one of these tests over the other. Many scholarship programs also require you to provide these test scores. I kind of like taking tests. Don't tell anyone that. What do I have to do? Well, there are a few different ways to register. Usually, the best way for students to register is through their high school counselor. You can also register online. For more information on taking the ACT, check out actstudent.org. To get information on taking the SAT, check out collegeboard.org. These sites will provide information on test dates, locations, practice tests, college search information, and more. Also, if you register online, you'll need to have access to a credit card number for the fee payment. Fee? You mean I have to pay to take the test? I'm broke. Can your parents help? If you are a student who comes from a low-income background, there is a fee waiver form that you can fill out, which will cover the entire cost of taking the test. If you have registered over the internet, you most likely will be able to choose the test location, date, and time. If you have questions, there is a phone number for the testing center. Good scores will help you improve your chances to be offered admission to colleges and even help you qualify for academic scholarships. Hey, good luck. So how did it go? Good. Really good. I'm excited to see your scores. We should start looking now at some colleges. Where do you want to check first? Hmm. I wonder where she's going. Mm -hmm.